Um, probably somewhere in your bushes. I, I had a I had a duck. We had a little teeny tiny pond, not a not a big backyard pool. We had a little pond, mm -hmm. and I had um, a, a pair of ducks come and and mate in the bushes right next oh. to the to the pond. <coughs> so that's what they do. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Let's get started. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Ready. This is Meg Ready Adler. <laughs> My website is and blog is Meg Adler Professional Development dot com. We are talking to small business owners about their businesses and how they became successful. So we're talking to Debbie Beebe today, and I wanted to know about how you became so successful. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> Hi, Meg, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh gosh, that is, that is the most general question. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want it more specific? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, how many years have you been in this business? Okay, so I joined network marketing four and a half years ago. And I actually, I'm with a health and wellness company, and I actually joined them for my health. And I definitely did not join for business. I have been in fitness and nutrition for 30 years, and I thought I knew better. I thought that it was better to work nine to five and really hard for somebody else. And, you know, that kind of capture pay scale. So when this opportunity came about, I actually was very stubborn, didn't want anything to do with it <laughs> until I started sharing the gift of health and wellness with others. And all of a sudden I started making some money. So that's how I started in this business. And then that just became such an amazing quote unquote job that it became very lucrative. <laughs> Sharing it, becomes, health and wellness. <laughs> it does become addictive. Oh, yeah. Very addictive. Yeah. When you can start helping people, that's what it's all about. So I think whatever anybody's job is to be successful is how much you can help and serve others. That's, that's a complete success right there. Wow. That's really important. <laughs> I, was, I have to tell you, I was at Toastmasters last night. And... I was trying to explain to people that it's important to have fun doing your business. And they were looking at me like, what do you mean it's supposed to be fun? It's supposed to be hard work. And I don't agree. No, and I think that society as a whole has taught that, that if it's fun or you're laughing and smiling, then you're not doing it right. You should be working hard and you should be sweating and you should be suffering. And I, I think we have it all wrong with that. There's no reason yeah. for that. So we're on the same page. Definitely. Okay. So what was the biggest breakthrough that you ever made? Ooh, Biggest breakthrough I ever made within my newfound business yeah. was, I probably should take my glasses off because people probably can see my eyes. Um, my biggest breakthrough for sure has been in personal growth, self-development, personal development. That's been my biggest breakthrough and growth. And it's really funny when I started studying it and realizing that it definitely makes a difference in every area of your life, your relationships, your business, every area of your life is continually working on oneself. When I figured that out and got involved with that for myself, and I started to learn more about myself and know myself better than I could get to know other people better and then again, serve them better. When I put all that together, that was probably my biggest breakthrough and I fought it all the way because I thought it was oh kumbaya let's all talk about our feelings blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I did you know and being in the industry that I was in previous that with fitness and nutrition I didn't realize I've always been working on that personal development that growth but this just kind of brought it all together and so that's probably in business 
for sure my biggest breakthrough. Okay. When you got into this business. Put my glasses back on, guys, because it's a little bright. <laughs> yes, how, go ahead. Sorry. How, how long have you been in this business? Four and a half years. Okay. So you've made a huge um, growth spurt. You've, you've got a very high line. High line, meaning? Uh, meaning I, you're, that if I were to track your your income, it would yes. be like a rocket ship. Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. How did you do that? Definitely. How did you do that? Well, so we've already established that the personal development is definitely high on the priority list. And I was actually, I've been talking to other top leaders in this industry and that's number one on everybody's list. And then um, just building a culture, building a team, getting to events that our company puts on. And then, ah, doggy. Somebody, and then somebody <laughs> just came to the door. And we knew that was going to happen, but we didn't know when. All good. <laughs> and then um, action. It's massive action. It's daily, consistent income producing activities. Okay. And definitely. You know, we go to work and we show up as an employee and we show up if we're sick. We show up if, you know, we broke our pinky fingernail. We show up and we will work our tails off for somebody else, for somebody else's dream. But sometimes in network marketing, we don't know how to work for ourselves. And so if we just show up like we would show up for somebody else, then that makes all the difference. But having that commitment, that persistence, and the consistency, daily action, that's it. That's what did it. Okay. So it's a daily action, mm -hmm. and it's a daily plan. Mm -hmm. And I know, because I know you probably better than you think I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know that you started hearing and learning about um, about personal development from Jack Canfield. I yeah, he's um, chicken soup for the soul, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he speaks a lot to your group. Yeah, I haven't really been around Jack Canfield. I know that he actually within our our I start to say society. <laughs> Your society. <laughs> Our society. Okay. Within that realm of network marketing, he definitely is a big influencer. Uh, anybody that's in personal development is a big influencer in network marketing. You know, network, network marketing has become our economy in 2000, well, before 2017 for sure, you know, but in the 2000s, I think it really started ramping up because we've got Amazon Prime and people get on their computer and they order something and they want it at 3 a.m. in the morning. So network marketing has really stepped in as our economy now because people get on the computer and they want it and they want it now. And so it's really kind of phasing out business as we know it, you know, regular jobs as we know it. So anybody that's in the personal development industry, that's motivational, inspirational, definitely coincides with network marketing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So what did your mom say when you told her you were going to get into deeper into network marketing? So my mom, no matter what I've done in my life, has always been my biggest fan. So there was, there's no resistance with my mom. And I know that other people that you know have been in network marketing that maybe their family and their friends are like you're doing what <laughs> yeah when <laughs> yeah really <laughs> you know so no my mom's always been my big my biggest All right player. yeah well that's that's an important thing to to think yeah. about that. yeah uh so i want to know mm -hmm. what's your next goal my next goal mm -hmm. What's your next I have, goal? I have so many goals. Good. And, and you know, actually, I, I got to give a shout out to one of my really good friends or really an amazing mentor in the industry.
she said, let's change the word goals because you're going to get your goals and then what? So let's change the word goals and set our standards. Okay. Right? Because we okay. get kind of caught in a goal. Yeah. Okay. Reach my goal. Here I am. And you're done. So let's raise our standard. Yeah. My, my ultimate goal, which my husband is my business partner. So our ultimate goal do the first one we want to hit is build a Ronald McDonald house. All right. So after that, then we'll build many Ronald McDonald houses. Wow. That's yeah. kind of, that's a really neat goal. It's pretty good, that's right? Really, really. <laughs> neat. That's it's really so important. Neat. It's so important. It's all about the kids. Okay. And families and relationships. Right. And because now, What's the inspiration for that? Oh, wow. Well, that's big. When my son was old, we were in a very bad car accident. And I'm not going to go into details because the story could go on a book worth. But he was left paralyzed. He was very broken up, my son at four months old. And we ended up through the years, we're in California. And uh, through the years, he's had more surgeries than he is old. And we had them done at Children's Hospital at Stanford. Okay. And you have to take a lot of time off work. Anybody that's had a child that's been in the hospital, that's had surgeries or had an illness, anybody that knows that you take time off work, you live at the hospital. And Ronald McDonald houses are in usually a, a very close proximity to a children's hospital. And they allow families to stay there for a, a minimal fee nightly, back then I think it was $10 a night. And if you couldn't afford that, there were grants that you could have and you would stay there for free. And then local stores and restaurants would donate food and or families would bring in food and everybody would cook together. It was a real community. But it just stayed together and it was so supportive that it's really important when people are going through something like that, when families are going through that, not just mom and dad, but the sisters, the brothers, and grandma. And everybody's brothers. going through yeah, it. Everybody's going through it. And everybody so goes through it. It's so not important to have a support group and a place that everybody can go and just talk or be or rest and not have to worry because you're already taking time off work. So you're already worrying what's my house payment and how am I going to pay my bills? And I'm, I mean, so, worried of course about your child but you know we all have to pay bills that's just right. how life is so right. you've got all these things going on in your head and the Ronald McDonald house really became we became family and it really eased a lot of those worries that's, so good. that's the inspiration so going forward mm -hmm. is this is your son your grandson my son your son mm -hmm. okay and is he involved in Special Olympics? Or is no. he all better and he has no problem? No, no he, no, he's paralyzed from the waist. From the waist. And he, down. yeah, and he's an artist of all sorts. He's a singer. He went to Cal Arts in California. Wow. And uh, yeah, he's a singer. He's an artist, and he does. Uh, he does so many things. He holds a SAG card. He's an actor. He's amazing. But yes, he's paralyzed from the waist down, and he is probably. Well, not probably. I know he is. He's like my most favorite person in the whole wide world. So Aww. he does really well. And uh, he is involved in our business also. He is also doing a health and wellness business with us. Oh, that's so, wonderful. Yeah, that's it is. Wonderful. It's great. It's a family yeah. affair. <laughs> that's fabulous. That's fabulous. When, when you first began, if you can remember four years ago, mm -hmm. When, when you look at it and say, how did I get started? What, what was the jumping off point, let's say? How do, you, how do I say, I, I'm, I'm really new at this and I'm starting and what's the first thing I need to do? Get out of my way. Get out of your way? I had to get out of my own way. Okay. I had to get out of my own way. So with our company, there's systems in play. This company is just got everything wrapped up. You want for nothing. 
they've got their systems in play, they have their programs, anybody can do this as long as they get out of their way. So if you're coachable, like I wasn't, okay. <laughs> when you become coachable and you say to me, how do I do it? And I shut up and just focused. <laughs> Okay. That was my jumping off point. That's when I, I understood. I took the first six months of this business that I knew nothing of, this industry that I knew nothing of, that first six months and went, I know how to do it better. Oh, okay. <laughs> but then I just studied really hard after that. Okay. I studied, I listened, I obeyed. If somebody said, do this, I did that. I didn't go, but why? I think I should do this. I let go of all of that. So to be successful, you absolutely, in anything, in anything, in your diet, in exercise, in a relationship, you got to get out of your own way. You got to lay your ego down and be coachable. You got to mm -hmm. always be able to learn because when we're not learning, then we're just stagnant and we're going to stay the same. Okay. How long till you build your first Ronald McDonald house? Oh, that, that's such a beautiful question. And, I, you know, the, the one answer that I really dislike is I don't know, but I really at this point don't know. I am just getting together with some other colleagues okay. that are excited to jump on board with us. And, uh, you know, I have a meeting in May. So right this second, I have no idea about anything. What I do know is that I've got a love and a want and a will and a desire, and it's going to be filled. That's what I know. At this okay. point. Okay. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Wish you all the best. Is there anything you'd like to to say to people who want to know how do I do this? Where do I begin? In the industry, with my company, with a little bit more specific with the question. At at your company in uh -huh. in, in your business how, okay. would you, how would you tell me at this point how do i start you're gonna give me a call and we have a conversation okay, <laughs> okay. that's simple you get in touch with me mm -hmm. <laughs> you you remain coachable <laughs> okay and we get you started it's that easy okay sounds wonderful yeah. Debbie BB, thank you so much for spending this time. Thank you, uh, May. My, that was nice. Okay. And I'd love to do it again sometime without my dog singing behind us. And maybe uh, without my sunglasses. <laughs> it's not so bright out. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day. I mean it is gorgeous. March. I mean, yeah. uh, tell me when when in California do we not have that kind of sun? So one thing that my husband said a long time ago that just sticks with me is whether you're in California or another place that is in California, it doesn't matter because the sun is always there. Absolutely. It's always there. Even if it's not shining. It's always right? there. The sun is always there. Yes. So if we can remember that and be grateful. And that's the other thing. Gratitude and everything. Because yes, we're all absolutely. connected. Absolutely. Thank you, Debbie. I Thank you, May. Time and I'll, I'll put this together and send it to you. Awesome. I would okay. love that. Thank love you very you. much. Everybody have a great day. You too. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Yep. Okay.